of an albatross around the neck of this administration. This is a change of getting Scott Pruitt ousted completely or as much as possible from the Trump administration and his to-be successor, Andy Wheeler, as far as I can gather, um, is set to take upon himself a very similar policy agenda as Scott Pruitt did. So for people, especially liberals, who have been concerned about the deregulatory regime of the Trump era EPA, they can expect that to keep chugging along a pace without yep. the um, all the baggage of all the alleged corruption and ethical lapses. Right, so and, that's and that is remarkable. Difference. That may be, for people who are worried about the air and the water, this may be a bigger problem because Scott Pruitt's effectiveness was reduced by his, uh, his, 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 his penchant for getting himself into potential ethical lapses. Andrew Wheeler, if confirmed, or whomever else, if confirmed, may not have that. I want to remind you of what happened a few days ago in a restaurant where a woman named Kristen Mink, a teacher, uh, confronted Scott Pruitt with her child in her arms talking about the environment in the end said, why don't you resign before your scandals push you out? Let's listen to that again. This is my son. He loves animals. He loves clean air. He loves clean water. Meanwhile, you're slashing strong fuel standards for cars and trucks for the benefits of big corporations. Uh, you've been paying about 50 bucks a night to say that you see conduct that's connected to an energy lobbying pattern while approving our dirty sands pipeline. Um, we deserve to have somebody at the EPA who actually does protect our environment, somebody who believes in climate change and keeps it seriously for the benefit of all of us, including our children. Um, so I would urge you to resign before scandals push you out. I want to bring into the conversation uh, Emily Holden, Politico's climate change and energy reporter. Emily, to that point, to Kristen Mink's point, and I had her, I talked to her on TV the day after she confronted Scott Pruitt, and I said, what matters more to you, his scandals or the environment? And she said, by a long shot, the environment, my child, the air, the water. To those people who have those concerns, this is not necessarily a victory. Absolutely not. I think the person that you're going to see replacing Scott Pruitt, at least in the short term, possibly in the long term, is going to be pursuing really exactly the same platform that, that he would have been. And, and if anything, there might be less negative attention focused on EPA from all of these ethical controversies that we're getting constant news. As is the case with the other agencies that I've been talking about, the Department of Energy, uh, the, the CFPB. Things are happening on a daily basis, but they're not subject to the type of scrutiny that Scott Pruitt has been uh, getting. Uh, is there a, a danger in your world of coverage of, of climate uh, and energy issues that changes are being made that Americans are not necessarily clear about?